I worked there for four years before I got married and um, then worked for a little while until I, well, for about a couple of years, till I started having my children. Occasionally I was asked to go back to relieve, but mostly I didn't want to. But after 12 years, I got tired of staying at home. So I um, actually got a job, first of all, at the girls' high school teaching singing for a year. And then the charge um, job came up, and I remember saying to my husband, you know, I could do that. And he said to me, well, why don't you? I thought he mightn't say that at all, but he did. So, and my mother had always been pushing me back off to work, saying, don't waste your education, do something with it. And I used to say to her, you're a strange mother, you're supposed to tell me to stay home and look after my children. And she said, I'll do that. And um, she did. I got the job as charge and uh, went to New Plymouth. And I really did enjoy it. The New Plymouth Hospital at that time was in what is now called the Barrett Street Hospital, which is the old hospital. Small, but everybody knew one another. All the different departments knew one another. Um, we worked in together very well. And uh, we stayed there for a few years until we moved into the new hospital, which is now Taranaki Base. We tried not to move there, but of course we had to go, and in the end we did. Now, the physiotherapy department was on the, the top floor, or the second floor actually, on the second floor at Base Hospital, including the pool which I thought was very strange, and so did everybody else, because once everything got going, when we filled up the pool and then emptied it for the first time, it leaked because they'd put in plastic um, pipes, piping. So they had to change all that pipes. And then it was discovered that the pool leaked, and directly below the pool was the hospital cafeteria, and the pool leaked into the cafeteria, running down one of the lights, which always fused, and so everything used to go out in the calf. So they had to f fix that up too. And I said to, I don't know, somebody, why did you put us upstairs? Why didn't you put the kitchen and the calf upstairs? It's ridiculous having the pool on the ground floor. And this stupid person, who I don't know who it was, sort of looked at me and said, but you can't have a kitchen upstairs. And I said, why not? And they said, well, how are you going to deliver everything to the kitchen? And I said, haven't you ever heard of elevators? I said, there are hospitals much bigger than New Plymouth that have their kitchens upstairs. And so anyway, to my knowledge, the pool is still there, hopefully not leaking away onto people down in the cafeteria. Um, what else can I say except that I enjoyed my time as a physiotherapist. I uh, retired as charge um, after a while and did part-time, which I also enjoyed because it gave me more time to do other things. And I think I actually retired about three times from the hospital. And the last time I retired, I decided that I would start my own little private practice, which I did in my home. We had moved um, and had rather a lot of room, so I had a little practice and I enjoyed that because I was able to decide how many patients a day I wanted to do. And I even had, was able to decide whether I wanted to do them or not. Um, so for me, that was a good time of life. I could do what I really loved to do. And I liked, orthopaedics was the thing that I liked doing, best of all. And so I was able to do a lot of that in my own home. And I really enjoyed that. Um, sadly, we moved from that house after a while and uh, I didn't have the room to carry on, except for one woman who refused to give me up. And she kept coming. She was a stroke patient of all things, and strokes are not things that I ever really enjoyed doing, but she wanted to come, so I didn't have the heart to say no.